What's up everybody this is Batsman Fan and I'm going to uh, be showing off some comics that I've gotten in the last uh, couple weeks all the way up through October uh, 22nd. Um, oh love 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 this cover. Uh, it is a throwback to the original Invincible Iron Man number one. Uh, just a beautiful cover. Um, this is one I would have you know CGC uh, maybe Signature Series. I would think that this will grade out a 9, 6, 9, 8. Uh, but just a beautiful cover. Really love this cover. Uh, but that's Invincible Iron Man number one. I think it's like a 1 in 25 variant. Could be wrong, but I think it's 1 in 25. Um, this is the uh, Hastings variant. You can see Deadpool over here. Uh, he made the Iron Man look like uh, Deadpool. Um, but this is also number one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Invincible Iron Man variant number one premier variant fifty nine ninety nine I paid three ninety nine three ninety nine is what I paid for that and that would have been the normal sticker price fifty nine ninety nine uh, I'm not sure what this is going for on eBay. I think I looked the other day and it was like a thirty or forty dollar comic, but I paid three ninety nine. That's what's up. And today I got Invincible Iron Man number two. Really, really like this cover. Uh, I think, and I could be wrong. I think that's Fin Fang Foom. I believe is how you say his name. Fin Fang Foom. And then it's also got Thor on the cover as well. But that is uh, Iron Man number two. I read Iron Man number one. Um, I, I really liked Iron Man number one. Um, it read pretty well. I'm interested to get this cracked open and see how it reads. Uh, the next one is Batman and Robin Eternal. If you're not reading Batman and Robin Eternal, you're doing it wrong. Uh... I have not read number three yet. Number one was phenomenal. Number two was a great read. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm betting number three is going to be equally awesome. Um, this is a weekly, so it's starting to get a little expensive. But I've really thoroughly enjoyed uh, this comic so far. Batman and Robin Eternal number three. Uh, this is new out uh, yesterday. Today's actually Thursday. But uh, this is Titan's Hunt. It's a really nice cover. Um... And it was three ninety nine price. Okay, this is the Uncanny and Humans number one variant cover. Um, I think this is a one in ten variant. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think it's a one in ten variant. Really like this old Doctor Dre uh, throwback. This is Doctor Strange number one, The Mystic. I've heard really good reviews on this comic. I have not gotten a chance to read it yet. But I've heard really good things. The next one is just the standard Doctor Strange number one cover. The next one is Spider-Man number one. Um, I didn't really like this comic. Um, I, I probably need to read it again. I was so frustrated whenever I got it home. If you look right around here, there's a bad cut on this from the shop. Or from, the, uh, from Diamond or whoever does these cuts. So I'm, I've got a bad cut over here on this side. So there were words that were left off that I couldn't actually see. I'm really upset about that, but eh, it is what it is. All right, Batman number 45. Um, really liked Batman number 45. Um, I wasn't. I know a lot of people like the original cover or the uh, regular cover. Uh, mm, it was hit or miss with me, so I just decided I'd go with the uh, Monster Variant cover. Um, but Batman 45 is another good read. Um, love this franchise of video games. I've played almost all. Well, I've played all the regular console games. Um, I've even played the PS Vita, uh, Assassin's Creed. 
game, but this is the Hastings variant. I have not read this comic yet, but if it's as good as the video games, it'll be stellar. Okay, uh, here is Harley Quinn. The here's Harley. I know that's terrible, but anyway, uh, once I seen that cover, I said I, I got I got to have it, and that's just the regular cover. There's nothing special. I mean, it's not a variant cover or anything else. Um, it's just a regular cover. I've also got uh, Harley Quinn number zero. It's the Clockwork Orange uh, cover. Got it CGC SS. Um, it was also a cool cover, but just a stellar, stellar cover. Sweet. Okay, the next one is Spider Gwen. Gwen Stacy's action figure variant. Eh, whatever. No big deal. Cool, but whatever. But wait. Look at that. Look at that. The variant edition number one. I believe that's the uh, throwback to, uh, I think it was Spider-Man number one. Um, there were all those different covers, like the silver color, the gold cover, the black cover, whatever covers they were. But I think McFarlane was the one that originally uh, drew the original one. They give him credit on this one. I can't remember who actually did this cover. Uh, I think his and the last name starts with a B. It's just not coming to me right now. Bradshaw maybe? Maybe Bradshaw did this cover. Uh, sweet cover. Um, I bought this. Unfortunately, I didn't buy it for $3.99, but I did buy it in store uh, for uh, $14.95, and uh, I could sell that double, triple my money right now. Double for sure. Paper Girls. I know nothing about this other than what We Love Comics said. Uh, he suggested probably getting this one. It is a beautiful cover, though. I love that cover. It's by Image Comics. It's only $2.99, so eh, take the risk. Love, love, loved this monster variant cover. And I'm not a big monster variant cover fan, but this was an awesome, awesome cover. Let's see if you can get a little closer look to it. And it is that th throwback. I think, believe that'd be like the f 50s, maybe, or the 40s, probably. The old scary movie uh, posters. It's just awesome, man. Uh, that's probably one off CGC. Um, and maybe CGC SS, just a cool cover. Um, got the Amazing Spider-Man hip hop variant cover. Got the Contest of Champions cover. Uh, this is a variant cover, I believe. I don't, I don't remember what. Uh, one in ten, one in fifteen. I don't know which one it is, but. Um, it's a, it's a pretty cool cover. Phenomenal game, man. I've spent many hours of my life playing the Contest of Champions. Um, Telos, I believe is how you pronounce his name. This is his first comic. Um, he, If you read Convergence, you would know who he was. Um, I don't want to ruin anything or give any other spoilers or anything, but if you pick this up, you know why you picked it up from Convergence. And for the last comic on this video, is Justice League of America number four. Um, I've read all of these so far, um, one through four, and they've all been pretty good reads. Um, so I'll continue reading and buying. All right, thank you all very much. This is Batsman Fan, and uh, I'll be showing another video here in just a minute of some other hauls I've made recently.